Hello everybody, I hope you're well. It's um, Tatiana. Um, I'm here today to show you what I like and what I didn't like and what I've learned about um, gardening on my balcony. I am in Montreal, um, zone 5B, and I just have um, a balcony and like a little front garden space. Um, this is something that I don't share often, but it's definitely the most productive garden and probably the only real spot that I'm going to collect fruit. I have a bunch of different kinds of containers up here. Um, obviously this is the big white one, these two square Ikea ones. Those are just hunter boots. And then in this bucket, I have uh, an assortment, or this tray, I guess I have an assortment of different plants. Um, a vining black-eyed Susan. I have no idea what that is. Thyme, parsley, and some chives. Um, as well as some strawberries just right there. Um, so far, I have loved uh, tray watering or bottom watering the best for these kinds of pots. Um, this is actually a tray from Ikea, um, and so far the plants seem to be doing really well. This black-eyed Susan is my favorite plant to have. Basically, on anything that climbs, it's really something that just grips on and holds on, and I'll show you the other side in a second. Um, in general, my biggest learning has been that I don't like circular pots or small pots in, in general. Um, I find square to be much easier, given that I have a square space. Um, and I'd really like to avoid using these kind of pots in the future for stuff. I find it just really hard to keep the soil moist and, and good, basically. Um, on this side, I have... Um, two different kinds of bush bean. This is like a French dwarf purple bush bean and a green bean of some kind. Some Brussels sprouts, which I learned how not to plant this year. Uh, one zinnia and, and more Brussels sprouts that aren't doing really wonderful. These containers, these IKEA containers, are my favorite that I that I figured out for, for gardening. I had them in my closet. I just drilled some holes into the bottom of them and I filled them in. Next year, I would actually fill the soil up probably to just below the actual handle marks, um, but these were wonderful. I started the beans um, in, well, direct sowed the beans outside and then added the Brussels sprouts and the zinnia after, uh, and both of the beans are doing really well. Um, this side actually has, yeah, they have little beans growing. Um, this side only has two plants, this side has about six plants, and I actually sowed them equally. I think there were six plants in both. Um, this one, for whatever reason, this location had a bunch of squirrels eat at it. This is a zinnia that I popped into the ground just to kind of do something. Um, but this is my favorite method. It was the easiest one to do. It's something that works really, really well for me. I was able to pick it up and bring it inside the house when it was still cold because it's Montreal. And we had around zero temperatures well into April. Um, this potter, this potter was actually kind of a last ditch effort for these basil and tomato plants. Um, I hadn't planned on growing tomatoes, but they did grow. I actually have a little bit of sprouting and discoloration. Um, I like this pot for its depth and I like it for growing. I dislike its shape. Because it's circular, uh, it takes up a lot of like extra space. I'd rather just have something be square and take up the same amount of space on this side. Um, that being said, this is a really, really good option for like a spot down here that I would have in the in the garden or anything like kind of in the front yard um, because it's circular and I know it's robust and it's not going to get like picked up and hauled away. I'm not going to get stolen or anything like that, although my community is pretty safe. Um, overall, the zinnia has been struggling in here, and honestly, so have these Brussels sprouts. Um, when I planted Brussels sprouts, I had no idea. I just planted way too many Brussels sprouts in a much, much, much too small little container and have basically ha been having to go through ever since and thin them out. I thin them out constantly when I remember, and... Like, never again will I plant Brussels sprouts in the same way. Um, for my Brussels sprouts, I do have this guy right here, which is 
seemingly doing well. It's the, the one that's kind of taken off. So I'll try to do something with it, but I'm not certain because I've heard that these are kind of to go. In these Hunter rain boots, um, I drilled holes in the bottom and um, I actually filled the toe to about maybe a quarter or a third of the way up with like these really huge rocks. Um, and then I stuffed some um, newspaper, or not newspaper, but like old planter ponders that I had that were like the little cardboard ones. I shoved them in the bottom, filled it with dirt, and both of these plants have been doing well. This is a oh, they're really heavy dwarf dahlia in like a beautiful red. Um, there was a cosmo plant in here, but I, I think I killed the cosmo plant pre-potting. And then this one is another cosmo. Um, these I don't, I mean, this is a great example of uh, planting with what you have. Um, and these hunter boots have been in my life for like a decade, so I felt bad kind of throwing them away or getting rid of them in that sense. Thank you so much for joining me today, um, and I will share the updates on my garden in the next video. See you there. Bye.